Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Brian, thanks for tuning in. As you saw in the intro, I have a new intro. I have a new name for my art channel and all my social media. Uh, Brian's Upper Valley Artistry, while it meant something to me, it was too long, it was very hard to say, and very hard to remember. I live up here in the New Hampshire, Vermont area, and where where I live, it's called the Upper Valley. So I chose that because that's when I first started my channel. So the uh, art channel name came from where I live. So uh, David and I, who have been together for nine years, we have been looking in this neighborhood for a house for a very long time. So five years ago, when the house came on the market, we just had to have it. So we bought it. So the address is 15. My studio is down here in the basement. So Studio 15 Acrylics is how I came up with that name. <laughs> uh, so that's my big news for this portion. The next portion of my big news is I'm going to do an auction. I'm hoping to do a YouTube auction, but I've got to do some testing on my internet and hopefully that will work. Um, if it doesn't, to my liking, then I will do another Facebook auction. So I will let you guys know about that. So today I am doing a sandwich pour, ribbon pour combination. So I got this idea, because I, you know how much I love doing my sandwich pours, but I was watching a video from Sarah Mack, and she does a couple of her, uh, she does some sandwich pours where she props her canvas up on a cup and drizzles it down and then tilts it out. So I think I'm gonna try that for this one. So I'm going with colors that I got from this jacket here. I really love them, but I'm gonna actually add white into it because I think it's gonna be a little too dark on the kit. This is also going along with my uh, you do, working with cells. You know, last few paintings have gotten so much cells and that's because of the densities of the paints and the churning and the mixing. So this particular painting, I'm gonna try to keep my paints on the thicker side and see what kind of cells we get out of that. So let's get down on the canvas, let's get started painting. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I've got today is a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, playing with some paints mixing and I spilt. And so now I've got a painted and wiped off canvas. <laughs> All right, so let's really quick talk about the colors that I'm gonna to use today that's matching that jacket that I showed you. Um, I am using the grayish blue from Amsterdam. Naphthal red medium from Amsterdam. The Azo orange. Oops, hope I'm getting you guys in there. I've got the uh, Azo Lemon Yellow, Pepeo Studio Acrylic in the Iridescent Blue Green, Golden Panes Gray, and I'm using Creative Inspirations as my white for the sandwich color. So my paints today are mixed with equal parts of Floetrol and paint, and then some water to thin them out. So I would say it's about an ounce and a half of Floetrol, ounce and a half of paint, and then water to thin out. You want your um, sandwich white thicker than your colors because you want to make sure that it does not sink below your colors when you're layering your cup. So speaking of layering your cup, let's get started All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put a little white here in the bottom now I'm gonna put a little of this grayish blue the red yellow, bluish green, or excuse me, greenish blue, and the paint's gray. Good. Now I'm gonna carefully pour the white over top of this because I don't want the white 
to sink below my color. Perfect. Let's go again. First order this time. One more leg. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt the canvas up on an angle. Uh, I was watching some videos of Sarah Mack and how she does her sandwich pours and she kind of does gives them at an angle so the paint will kind of run naturally and then it's a little easier to tilt. So this should be fun with all these colors. Let's see how this goes. Start up here. I'm gonna stop now because I can already tell I don't have enough paint. I am going to layer another cup.
start to pour over here. Yeah. I start to see some of that color come out. I'm just pouring some more white to help this flow. And go. You can see the colors really starting to pop back up through there. Going to give this just a light torch, not too much. All right, let's move this down. I'm going to clean up my edges. I'm going to give it a torch and then I'm going to bring you guys in. All right, here we are with the wet result. This is really cool. And what I love about this is I'm still playing in my cell series. So I'm still trying to get different levels of cells with thicker and thinner paints. So if you notice in my past videos when I've done sandwich pours, I get tons and tons of cells. But that's because the paints were a little on the thinner side. I kept these paints a lot thicker, so I didn't get the huge big cells that I normally would with a sandwich pour, which is really fine. I'm, I, I really love this. So let me show you what I'm talking about as I bring you in close. 
So here you can see I still have cells in here, but they're not huge cells and they're not all over the painting. Here in this painting, I've got tiny, teeny, tiny cells, but I've got lines of color. You can see with that red mixing with the white, definitely got pink, but that's okay. All right, let's see this dry. I'll be right back. All right, here we are with the dry result. It's starting to snow again. <laughs> it snows, it gets warm, it melts, and then it starts snowing again. Let me show you up close. Dried really great. you guys that's gonna do it this dried really great it's funny because it's got a little bit of a shine to it which there's no gloss varnish in this so I really don't know where the shine came from other than the um, Pebeo iridescent color but this is just Floatrol and paints so I'm kind of baffled by that but it dried really well as far as the orientation goes you could go like that like that I don't know, we'll see. But I still will probably put a little bit of gloss varnish on this because I just like that look of gloss varnish. It's not so bright as resin, but it just gives it a nice little sheen and it sets off the piece. So. All right, everyone, thanks for watching today. Again, check out my new logo. Again, all my social media accounts and my YouTube channel is going to be changed over to Studio 15 Acrylics. Thank you so much for everyone's support. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's going to do it for today. I think Nate Bright is coming up next. If he's posting today, I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to him yet. Um, if he is, then let's head over to his channel. All right, everyone. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.